Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Seiko SSK003, otherwise known as the Seiko 5 Sport GMT. All right, let's take a look. So you get the same outer box and watch box as the other Seiko 5 models, and the warranty card is in here, instructions manual is online. There it is, guys. Stunning. Such a cool watch. So this is the highly anticipated blue dial Seiko 5 Sport automatic GMT. This is Seiko's first GMT in the 5 line, which I think is amazing. I've been waiting for them to make a watch like this for so many years, and finally my dreams have come true. It's really cool, guys. So first things first, we'll state the obvious. This thing does look almost like a GMT Master 2 Batman. You have the two-tone black and blue bezel, the Cyclops on the date. You have the Jubilee-style bracelet. Bracelet. And this one actually looks a lot nicer than the same style bracelet that I have on my SKX Looks like they finally updated it and it looks to be pretty high quality actually and you have this beautiful finish It actually looks like a hard lex mineral crystal bezel. So it's not aluminum and has this really cool shine to it It's almost like reflective properties, but really cool and you have a dark blue dial and a red GMT hand Yeah guys, but I think a lot of people are waiting for this watch for many reasons I mean you're getting Seiko's modified forearm movement, which is is finally a GMT movement and through that see-through display case bag you can see the movement back there it does look a little different than the typical Seiko 5 sport movement obviously because it's modified to be a GMT movement so you will see that I don't believe it is any thicker than the regular Seiko 5 sport either so the dimensions and everything measure about the same which is awesome unlike the Seiko 5 sport where many people were bashing it for not being a true diver this watch won't be able to be bashed because of its status because for GMT you don't need 200 meters of water resistance so the fact that this has 100 meters of water resistance is perfect that's pretty much all you need to be a professional gmt obviously you have the gmt movement you have the rotating bi-directional bezel with the am and pm bi-colored time zone bezel i mean it has all the specs that you would expect from a proper professional gmt i mean this is really cool and it won't get any points knocked off for that the msrp for this um as you can see on the hang tag this one goes for 475 so it is a quite a bit more than a typical seiko 5 sport which runs around the upper 300 range so you're paying an extra hundred dollars for the gmt movement spec for spec i think this is a really good deal and because it's the 4r movement you have like that workhorse movement that won't really give you that time variation such as the 6r movement is known to even though the 6r is supposed to be a higher end movement there have been many complaints that it doesn't quite accurately track the time as much as the 4r does and even though it's a lower spec movement it's just a workhorse of a movement and you're in the sweet spot of the price range where you're less than 500 dollars for a solid movement, decent finishing. I mean, it's the best bang for your buck Seiko. If you want to get a good deal on a Seiko watch, I would write, highly recommend this price range. So in terms of the movement overall, the pretty much the fourth hand is supposed to stand for the hour for a different time zone. And the bezel ideally is also supposed to be a third time zone. So the cool thing is you can record three different time zones at once. Another interesting fact about the bezel is it does not click. So it's bi-directional and it doesn't make a single clicking sound. It just kind of slides. That is just something to note. It is not like a diving bezel. All right, let's get it on wrist and see how it fits. All right, guys, here it is on wrist, and it has the exact same dimensions as the SKX and the other Seiko 5 Sport model, so it fits very well on my 6.5 inch wrist. 42.5 millimeters across. As you know, the way Seiko has its short lugs, it just hugs the wrist perfectly. 13.2 millimeters thickness, I believe. Maybe slightly more, but around that range. Not bad at all. The Cyclops on the date is a cool touch. I just noticed that there's no day on this one. Like a Seiko 5 Sport would have the day and the date. This one is just the date. The Jubilee bracelet on this, I gotta say guys, really high quality for the price range versus what Seiko used to give, especially the SKX Jubilee bracelet, which was a really noisy and kind of cheap tinfoil type bracelet. I mean, I still thought it was decent, but a lot of people complained. And when you compare it to the higher end Swiss bracelets, yes, it does feel very cheap, but this one is actually pretty solid and fits very comfortably. It did improve the clasp as well. So it does have this new updated clasp like all the new Seiko 5 Sport models have. The SKX one was good enough for me, but this one is a slight improvement. <laughs> I just gotta say, I've tried the Batman on the wrist, and I gotta say, this one is a different take on that watch, though it does have a lot of similarities. Number one being the dial is dark blue instead of black. Uh, you still get the Cyclops and the black and blue bezel, but the GMT hand instead of blue is this red. And I love the red, because the writing uh, that says GMT on the dial is also red. So it gives you this pop, and the GMT hand really does pop. It looks really nice. It's a good contrast. And out of the three colors, there's also an orange one and a black one. I think this model is is probably the most popular. From what I've seen, it's sold out everywhere already. And luckily I had this pre-ordered, so I already had one secured 
work for me before they even released so i'm pretty happy about i did that because this is just a beautiful watch guys and i'm so happy to finally have a gmt and it's like the perfect beater gmt which are really hard to come by these days people were asking begging almost for seiko to make something like this i mean you had the diver you have re just recently the nice solar chronograph so the gmt was the only thing missing and if you're like a huge seiko head and a budget seiko head you can make an ideal three watch collection right now um it almost feels like seiko is just going after rolex at this point with the color schemes i mean they see how popular those models are and they see how scarce and in demand they are seiko's like all right rolex let me give the people what they want in a budget fashion and you can pretty much get your panda daytona your gmt master 2 batman and your submariner or whatever else you're looking forward even the date just with the sarb or explorer could be argued but seiko's just at every price point and that's what i love about it so much it's that they are willing to give you whatever you want they'll make hundreds of different color schemes for a model they'll make it very robust and they'll make it affordable so no matter where you're sitting at if you like a certain design you can probably find a seiko version of whatever luxury timepiece you're looking at not all of them obviously but i mean you could find a good diver a good chronograph and a good gmt pretty positive to report that i think this watch will do very well all right guys let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time